Hello guys. It's time for some secrets. I kept this from you because I wanted it as a uh, part of the toolkit because I spent so much time researching on all this stuff. Um, the issue that most people have with dodge and burn is that the saturation issues come up and even color shifts. So in the old toolkit, what I did is uh, I put the, um, the curve into a folder and then I added a saturation layer, hue and saturation, to try and fix some of the issues that come up. And it worked okay. Um, but I still ended up having to fix uh, colors afterwards, and I wasn't really happy with that. So I figured. Why not compare it to the raw conversion? Because the raw conversion is, as everyone knows, really good at colors. And when you push uh, exposure in both Capture One and, Light and Lightroom, uh, it does a pretty good job at doing it naturally, how light would behave in the real world. Um, as you all know, uh, color depends a lot on uh, luminosity or lightness uh, or if you want to call it brightness um, so it's not just about changing the luminosity and then thinking your colors are going to be good i know some people teach that you should uh, set your curve to luminosity because then you only change the luminosity but that's the opposite of you want of what you want because you want to affect the colors when you change the brightness of the image um, otherwise you get color shifts and uh, compared to the other parts of the image uh, so what i did is i spent over two days importing maybe 50 to 100 images from the raw conversion uh, various ones and I imported three versions so like in this example document I have a zero this is zero exposure in the capture one uh, actually here I have minus one but so this is what I exported and this is the image and then I exported one that has minus one and then I exported one that has plus one um, and the colors look good i mean this is sort of how you would expect uh, an image to look if you shot it and uh, in different lights and the colors look good um, and then to really see what the difference is this part is going to get a little bit technical but i need to for the people who are technically inclined and want to see my thought process behind this and why it's better i think i need to prove it because otherwise uh, it's just empty words me saying is something is better is not good enough for me i want to prove it so uh the group here that's called dodge and burn old is from my old toolkit which i also spent quite a bit of time tweaking uh but i've come up with a even better way and the way i arrived to this conclusion is that i took uh, i copied the minus one and the minus uh, plus one to the top i set them to difference mode this makes photoshop show um, what the difference is so for example if i have the plus one and I showed the difference plus one, it's completely black. And even if I boost everything to the max with solar curve, it's completely black because it's exactly the same. So, and then 
comparing different methods to actually lighten and darken an image and see what it does with colors. I use a couple of help layers to really visualize it. And it's also going to help you that watch the video because some of the differences are not that easy to see if you just compare the merged results. Um, so for example, um, if I turn on the difference mode for uh, plus one and I boost it with the levels, I really wanted to see exactly what happens. And then I also boost saturation because the most of the issues are saturation uh, based. And then I also went into pixel level by turning on the solar curve just to really see what's going on. But I'm not going to show the solar because it makes no sense to most people, but just, you know, so, uh, now I'm comparing to plus one. If I use the old method, you can see there's quite a bit of difference in saturation. Right now I'm only comparing saturation. If I wanted luminosity, this is the luminosity difference. And that's not that important because when you work with the dodge and burn, you usually work with the luminosity. So it's the saturation issues that I want to uh, address mostly. Um, so old method, and this is the new method. And the less of a difference you see now, the better uh, it is at replicating um, what the raw conversion does. So I'm pretty happy with this one uh, compared to this one. It's, it's a big difference. And uh, same with the old burn. Uh, actually, I need to change this one. So now I'm comparing to the minus one. And this is the difference before. And this is the difference now with the new methods. Um, also not much. I have to remember now that I'm boosting levels, the difference with levels, and I'm boosting saturation. So this, to be able to see the color difference with the eye here is really difficult. And that's what I wanted to achieve. Um, So in short, let me take off all of these technical layers up here. Doesn't matter anymore. I've already showed you. So let's group them and hide them. But let's compare it to the conversions I did down here. So first, let's do a full dodge and a merge. So this is a full dodge in the merge. And I can turn that off, I can hide it. And this is straight from capture one, plus one. This is straight from a full stop, uh, full ma white mask of the new dodge. And flipping this on and off, there's the difference is in color is almost nothing. It's so tiny. And um, let's do the same again. Turn this off. And with the old way, let's make a merge. And then turn this back off and hide it. Now turn back the original raw conversion from Capture One. And as you can see, the luminosity difference isn't that big, but the colors change quite a bit. Um, and the old way here, it's sort of like muddy and, and grayish.
and uh, the new version is barely any different. So let's take this away and do the same for burn. So first the new burn, take this away. So we have the original, uh, we do a full burn and we merge just to have one image to compare to. And then we take this away again. Now we turn on the original in the background. And this is the raw conversion uh, minus one stop. This is my new dodge and burn one minus one stop. Tiny bit of difference, but it's really tiny. The colors are really good. I like the colors on the and then let's do the same with the old old way, old tried and true way. Uh, and let's turn this off. So now we have only the original and yes. So and we can turn this away again, hide it. Now activate. So this now that you see is minus one from capture one. And this is minus one from the old way of dodge and burning. The saturation here is a huge difference and I, I, I bet you can see it on the, um, this one looks so much better than this one. So let's reveal the secrets. So wait, the old curve is just a regular bend. doesn't matter how you do it. Really, you can have this point anywhere. It's still gonna be like an even bend. Uh, and the new way, now's the secret, guys, is a two point curve. This makes sure that you get. Um, uh, more flat results in the in the midtones and it handles co colors better. So these values here, I spent a lot of time tweaking up and down, comparing with the, all the help layers that I showed you before. And in every single one of these images. Um, so if you want to copy my new method into an action if you don't want to use the toolkit. Uh, the first point should be 65 and 104. Second point 138 and 190. And this is for the lighten. And then for the new method of darken, the first point should be 101 and the sec second um, value 63. And the second point should be first value 190 and second value 146. Uh, I've also added a slight difference to how I saturate and desaturate by adding a blend if to it. This one doesn't make a big difference, but it helps a little bit. So I want this as close as possible. To have as little issues as possible with color and saturation. And I wanted everyone who uses this new technique to be able to rely on it and save time having to correct colors afterwards. So that's really all there is to it. Um, if you want to try yourself on a couple of different images, um the method to compare is to use difference blend mode boost the difference with levels so you can see it more clearly then if you are like me you wanted you care mostly about the saturation 
then also add a saturation help layer that boosts saturation and as a final step to really compare add them all together like this with the solar curve and uh, the original is nothing but so even uh even my new method isn't a hundred percent perfect but it's really close to compare it now with the uh, old way it's a very big difference now that i turned everything to the max with the solar curve and everything but yeah that's how you would do it if you wanted to replicate what I did and if you don't want to use my values go ahead and spend a couple of days maybe you come up with something better but <laughs> I'm really happy with this um, and I think you really will like it and I think a lot of people will adopt this technique and uh, enjoy thank you for watching see you soon